Good morning, church friends. How are you guys? Good morning, everybody. How are you guys? Good. Did you know that today is a special day? No? Well, it's a special day, and it's Father's Day. I bet you knew that. Today is Father's Day. Well, today I um, want to talk about Father's Day and why fathers are important. And we really have two fathers. Now, some people might not have a father. Some might have a mom that's a mom and a dad. And sometimes moms um, have boyfriends or stepdads. And our families are all made up of different ways. So we usually have somebody that's like a dad to us. And I know when my kids were little, my kid's dad wasn't home very much. So my dad was like a father to my kids. He did a lot of things with my kids. And I was very thankful for that growing up. So I brought a couple things with me to talk about what dads do for us. Okay? Do you guys know what this is? No? Hmm. Well, I said to my husband, I need a wrench. Could you give me a wrench to take to church today? And I looked at this and I thought, hmm, is this a wrench? I think it's a crescent wrench, isn't it? It is a wrench? Okay. I was thinking it would be one of those you push and it slides in and out. That's the crescent. Okay. <laughs> I don't know my tools very well. But this is a tool that dads use to fix things. Did you guys have anybody ever fix anything for you? Did you ever have anything broken? Yeah, like what? Like what? Tell me something. Think about it. A dirt bike? Something was broken on it? And did somebody fix it for you? Your dad? Do you remember how he fixed it? Did he use any tools like this? Maybe. I know growing up, you know what used to pop off of my bike was the chain all the time, a pedal bike. And my dad, I'd always yell, Dad! did it again and he would put the chain back on for me and sometimes he had to use tools to fix it so dads fix a lot of things and so do moms how about this what's this thing do you know what that is let me ask you do you know what this is what is that do you know do you catch a ball with it yeah if i put it on my hand like this you can throw a ball in the air and you can run up and catch it What's it called? Baseball. A baseball mitt. Did you guys ever use a baseball mitt before? Yeah? What's that? In T-ball. So do you play some sports? Yeah? Do you play sports? No sports? I bet you she does. Do you play some sports, honey? You got a boo-boo. You got a boo-boo from playing. So you play t-ball. Who taught you how to swing that baseball bat for t-ball? Yeah, your dad and your mom. And you have coaches who are dads, and they teach you different sports. And I know growing up, I played volleyball a lot. And my mom and dad would take me to volleyball games and volleyball practice. And did your dad and mom come cheer you on at those games, your t-ball games? Yeah. So our dads do, moms do a lot for us. Hmm, what else is in my bag? What kind of toy is this? Do you know what that kind of toy that is? A toy what? Yeah, it's a toy car. Now, can I bring a real car in here? No, I can't bring a real car. But do your moms and your dads take you places? Yeah? Did your dad bring you to grandma's house this weekend? Yeah? So your dad gives you lots of rides to different places? Does he take you out to dinner? Does he ever take you to McDonald's? Yeah. <laughs> so our dads and moms take us lots of places. Oh, I think I got one more thing in here that they do a lot with. Money. <laughs> Does your parents buy things for you, honey? I bet they bought that beautiful dress for you. Or did Grammy get it? <laughs> <laughs> well, moms and dads, they buy our clothes for us. They buy food for us. They spend a lot of money on us, don't they? 
So, our dads do lots of things for us. And today's special because we want to thank our dads for doing all those kind things for us. They do a lot for us. And we also have somebody that's called our Heavenly Father who loves us just like our dads. And he watches out for us and he takes care of us too. So we have two dads to say thank you today to. Our Heavenly Father who's God. We can't see him, but we know he's real. And we know he loves us. But I want you to go home today and tell your dad all the things you're thankful for when you see him next. Give him a great big hug and squeeze him and say, thanks, Dad, for all the things you do for me. And I want you to thank our Heavenly Father, too. Okay? Can you guys do that? And on your way back, tell everybody you see Happy Father's Day. Okay? So go head back and tell everybody Happy Father's Day.